Hi bike friends, I'm Groucho and today I'm going to try to talk some of you into not painting with the rattle can and switching over to the airbrush. For those of you that paint with the rattle can, you know how hard it is to get into tight little spaces. You really have to flood the area with paint to get into all those little tight little crevices. On the other hand, an airbrush is very, very easy to get into the little nooks and crannies because you're adjusting the level of paint, very little overspray, and you just have to use the amount of paint that you really need. Today I'm going to be using this Duplicolor brand paints. It comes from O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's about 22 bucks a quart. And one of the reasons I like it is because you don't have to mix the lacquer thinners with it. It's all pre-mixed. And you just run it through your strainer and put in your gun and you spray. One of my little tricks of getting the paint from inside the big can into this little jar is via the ketchup bottle. <laughs> yep, you take the paint from here, pour it in the ketchup bottle, easy transfer into the airbrush jar. I'm going to briefly talk about the cost comparison between the rattle can and the quart of paint. Rattle can you can get for about five bucks, and you're going to need at least two cans to paint your bike. And the quart costs twenty-two dollars, but you're going to be able to paint ten bikes with that because there's so much waste in a can as compared to having control over the airbrush and painting the bike. Underneath the trees, we watch the sky, confusing stars, the satellites. I never dreamed that you'd be mine. But you... I'm going to talk briefly right now on the airbrush pen itself. There's many different makes, many different models. The single action, double action. For a budget minded person and the beginner, I'd suggest going with the single action brush which means there's only one action to the brush. You just push the tip down and it sprays. You're able to adjust the spray pattern right here in the front. And the dual action brush, you can actually push the tip down and adjust the flow by moving your finger back and forth. For this particular project today, we're going to use a single action brush. Okay, on today's bicycle we're going to be painting this particular bike with a flame paint job. And the colors we're going to be using for this one is we're going to start off with a base of black. So the whole bike's going to be painted black. And then we're going to follow up with red, orange, yellow, and then finally a clear coat. I'm going to be making a few mid-tone colors in between those particular colors. I'm going to be mixing the red and the orange together and the orange and the yellow together. Come up with a couple mid-tone colors that I'll use for blending the bike in between. Also today we're going to be introducing stencils that will be used in making the flicker motions and the shapes of the flames. Uh, these particular stencils, I made these, you can buy them online if you type in true uh, flame paint. You can find stencils. Or I just went to the Office Max, bought some heavy vinyl material, threw some shapes on it, used an exacto knife, and I've cut out my own. Okay, at this point, all the heavy work's been done with the build, and it's been sanded, primed, prepped, and I think it's time to tack cloth it, and let's get ready for paint. From underneath the trees, we watch the sky, confusing stars. Yeah, it looks 
good. Thanks, Lane. Nobody died and I'm singing Hey, hey man